hello, this is Philip Steiger at uh, TheBest3D.com and uh, on this tutorial I want to show you something that Pixeland Software has created and it's the new version of AnyFX, one of the many tools and plugins that they produce. Spice Master, Spice Effects and a few others are there too. Creative Ease for instance. Uh, if you click on this here at Pixeland.com you'll see um, a, a few of these and in particular one any effects accelerated effects starting at about $24 uh, that's for the dog waffle edition as well so when you click on that you'll see some information this is hardware accelerated so you'll want to make sure that your PC is able to run that it does require a fairly recent version of DirectX and uh, some graphics capabilities that will be validated through DirectX that they are indeed an available <clears throat> but once you have that uh, you do have a, a system with a, a lot of gr uh, great visual effects and uh, we'll show you some on those uh, future tutorials as well um, <clears throat> at this point here I just want to demonstrate how to install the demo so you can uh, verify that it works on your PC and what you'll do is you'll go down to here where it says download the demo click on that and you are now in the demo page and that's at pixeland.com sm2d demos.htm <laughs> and uh, when you scroll down you'll see this is available these are demos for various products and different um, and digital editing software video editing as well and uh, right down here we have any effects and the demo for dog waffle which you can download here too so <laughs> when you do that you can either click it and save it and sometimes your web browser will have a predefined location I like to uh, save the link as right click on that link and save the link as so I could get I get to control where I'm actually saving this particular file and again that will vary with your browser and how it's configured and I'm going to save that All right and so that may take a few seconds to download it's about 28 megabytes in size and let's move on and continue as soon as this download is completed and here we are again and so now we have this download completed we could just double click it I like to right click and open the containing folder which is what I have here so here's the file we just downloaded the demo version of uh, any effects for dog waffle <clears throat> and what I'll do is I'll just double click to run it it's that easy uh, let's go allow that and run it and you'll see that this is going to add um, plugins to to the uh, dog waffle environment so let's go click next uh, we got the, the license agreement yes we like that let's uh, keep going and now one thing to be aware of is that it, it can actually install itself in a couple of different places you may have uh, PD particles like I have on this PC and it finds that one first so it wants to put it there um, that's not where I want it though I want it on my PD Pro Howler 8 edition. So I'm going to go with um, Dog Waffle. I think it's under the x86. Let's scroll down to Howler. I have a special folder. I didn't leave it when I installed uh, Howler 8. I gave it a dif different folder so it didn't go into default. And so I can identify here Howler 8. Let's double click that. And <coughs> we're now inside that folder. There's a couple of others. In fact, you see there's already an earlier version of Pixelan I have here. I should probably have this uh, uninstalled it here, but uh, that's okay. I'll just try to install this on top. Uh, this is just the demo version. We'll, uh, we'll reinstall the full version later. <coughs> this one here, I just want to show you step by step how to do that. So let's go and install right here and go. Now, <coughs> this is a very quick installation. There are a few hundred plugins that get uh, uh, filters that are uh, made available through these plugins. There's really two flavors of the plugin. I'm going to skip the reading of the uh, read, uh, read me first uh, file here. I would definitely encourage you to read that, become familiar with the product. And let's go uh, skip out of that. So uh, it's installed and we should be able to see now um, how to use any effects for dog waffle. Let's go check that out. So here's how we verify what uh, we just installed. We have filters. Uh, in the filter menu you can see all plugins and there will be two instances. One of them in the filters category and one in the miscellaneous category. On the filters you should see any effects. There it is. I'm not going to select it quite yet, but there it is. And then there's the other one on the miscellaneous, which is almost the same name, but it's NEFX animation. 
All right, so you basically have a version of the filters here that can be applied over each frame of an animation sequence of a video, basically. So that's that. Now that's the only, that's not the only place where you can launch it. Uh, you can also do that through the plugin filter or the plugin interface panel. If you go to Window, Other, and define the plugins panel, the shortcut K is familiar here. That's K for Kilo plugins. Let's try that. And oh, there it is on the side. Let's move it in. All right, so we got plugins here, and again, on the filter, we should see any FX, and there it is. All right, and then on the miscellaneous is where we should see NFX animation, and there it is. All right, so we can launch it either way for animations from the miscellaneous pad uh, tab, and then here from the filter menu for that. Now, uh, it's let's go and actually let's go let's go put some image in here to, to start from. Uh, let's go for instance. Uh, how about uh, just rendering a sky and uh, make it a little bit darker, darker sky color there, and the fog too. Let's make it kind of really dark. Okay, so we got some uh, noctilucent uh, clouds here, and I want to add some rain and I know the or snow, and I, I know that uh, any effects has um, a, a beautiful rain. Tool, so I'm going to add that. Double click that, that's in the filter category for a single image. And there you go. So you see a preview of the, the current frame. <clears throat> and you can see as it shows here, click on the FX uh, folder. So that's down here. Let's go click that. You'll notice on the right side here, it has a little FX preview. And you can go and navigate through the different filters. There's also dynamic effects, transitions, and so on. And you may have saved your own custom files, your presets. Um, I'm gonna go to filters and find the simulation for uh, rain. And there it is. A single click will already show it right here. Now it takes a default view here of an eye and then put the effect right on it in an animated way. If you don't want to animate it, you just stop it here. If you don't want to see the preview, you remove it. Anyway, at this point, it's always good to see that it's, you know, kind of what effect it's going to give you. Of course, you can change the speed of the wind, the density of the raindrops, the size, contrast, and many other things. And so let's go do that. <coughs> and so what we see here in this image is essentially a preview of what the filter will do. And as you change these, pl uh, these sliders, uh, you see which way the wind is blowing. Let's make it blow from the left to the right. Let's change the width, uh, the length of these uh, raindrops. It's really kind of a streak. And the opacity, uh, you can make it kind of subtle. The chaos, kind of cha chaotic uh, rain. Uh, the size of the drops. Uh, the opacity also. So uh, lots of different ways to change that. Uh, one thing you can change here also is the speed at which it's coming down. So if it's coming down really slow, and you got the wind blowing one way or the other, uh, the rain and the length. With that, we can get some nice effect here. All right, so let's let's grab this. And when you're done with these settings, all you do is you click the green checkbox, and it will apply this effect onto the entire image. <laughs> and it does so very fast because it's uh, accelerated through the 3D graphics hardware. It's a hardware accelerated. Um, effect engine. Not necessarily 3D by the way, but <coughs> um, definitely a hardware accelerated. And so now let's see what happens if we want this on an animated sequence. And in fact for that I will start over with the filter. Let's take the same filter, render sky, and this time I'm gonna go, let's see if we can change the, the clouds. I'm going to, uh, to animate this. And in order to animate it, I'm going to need an animation uh, sequence, right? A frame sequence. So I'm going to go and create something like, uh, let's do 99. 99 frames. <coughs> and go render my filter. Render the sky. And we're going to go, just double check that here a little bit. There you go. Animate that. And we are not going to move the clouds sideways. We're going to, oh, actually, no, you know what? Let's, let's move them sideways as well as coming towards us and also have them change shape. And there you go. So that's uh, rendered through dog waffle still, but the rain is not yet there. And we want to add the rain on every single frame. So that's where we use the filter 
uh, from any effects, but not just a still image version. We now use the animated version. So let's uh, wait for that render to be done. Almost done here. And <clears throat> as soon as that, uh, oh, I guess it's uh, it's a little bit uh, uh, slow because I have some some heavy duty rendering on my Carrara project in the background here. Uh, we'll probably add that uh, soon. Uh, anyway, here we go. Uh, so we have the animation. Let's see what the this animation looks like. And now we want to add some rain. And this time we'll go to the miscellaneous. So again, you can go to this menu here, filter, all plugins, miscellaneous, and look for any any effects animation. There it is. Click that. And so at that point, I'm going to pull the same filter in. Uh, here's a snow version. Let's go up, let's go to the rain. And for the rain, this time I'll have the wind blow the other way. Let's go to the left. And because the clouds are kind of drifting a little bit to the left as well. So yeah, let's go. And uh, let's go render that. Now that's going to be fairly quick because it's accelerated through the hardware. <clears throat> so that's that's one of the nice features about this is that it's it's fully hardware accelerated and then once that's done uh, We do have a new video a new rendering where the uh, the clouds are still moving as the original But we now have also added the rainfall to that All right, so that confirms that we have installed it and it's running under PD Pro 8